Grade 6 Math, number 3.4, Add and Subtract Mixed Numbers. I wanted to go over this really quick and put them all in one spot so it's easier to compare them. An LCD, the least common denominator, is really the smallest common product that's being used as a denominator. For a third and a half, they can meet at six. So that would be the smallest common product that they have that can be used as a denominator. It's really the same thing as the LCM, the least common multiple. The least common multiple is the smallest common product between two numbers. 3 and 5, if we list their products, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15 for the 3. And for the 5, the products are 5, 10, 15. So 15 would be the smallest common product they have between them. That's the least common multiple. It could also be a common denominator if we wanted to use it as a denominator. So remember that LCD and LCM are really the same thing. They're the common product. It's just the lowest common product, and the top one is being used as a denominator. The GCF, the greatest common factor, are the facts that we multiply together to get those numbers. The facts for 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The facts for 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. The biggest one they have in common is 6. So that's the greatest common factor, and we use that to put fractions into their lowest terms. Okay? So that's what those three are. So remember, the top two are basically the same thing. It's just the top denominator one. The LCD on the top is just used as a denominator. Okay? Before we can add or subtract fractions, we need to make the denominators the same. If we have a half and a third, or two-thirds, we can't combine them because they're in different cuts. By cutting them into smaller parts, it'll work. See? We got our cuts. We find the lowest number of parts that will work, so we won't make extra work reducing at the end. Each half needs to be cut into three parts. See? Each third needs to be cut into two parts. This multiplies the parts. We've multiplied the two into three parts, and we've multiplied the, three, the thirds into two more parts. So we're multiplying the two by three and the three by two and they're becoming six parts, see? Now, if these were boxes of candies, we could intermingle them and put them in each other's boxes because they have the same cuts. Before, we couldn't fit the half into this one, and we couldn't fit the third into this one without having some left over, and another one wouldn't fit in there. But now, by making these six cuts that they're all in parts of six, we can put them into each other's boxes, see? So one half becomes 3 6 because the numerator gets jealous and wants to be multiplied by the same number as the denominator. The 2 thirds becomes 4 6 because the numerator wants to be multiplied by 2 also. And we found the lowest number of parts they can be cut into. We found the least common denominator, the least common product, or the LCD. All right? To add mixed numbers, we may have to find their LCD, add, regroup any improper fractions to become whole numbers, and then reduce our fraction sum to its lowest terms. If we have 2 and 3 eighths, we can't add it to 1 and 3 fourths until we get the denominators to match. We list their common products, and we see that they have 8 as the smallest common product. They have 16 and 24, but it's not the smallest, so they're going to meet at 8's house. 4 needs to be multiplied by 2 to get to 8's house. 3 gets jealous. He gets multiplied by 2. 2 is already home at his house, the 2 and 3 a's. So he just stays the same. So now we can add them. 3 and 6 is 9. We slide the denominator down, and 2 and 1 is 3. Now we have 3 and 9 a's. But you see, we can pull an 8 eighths out of this. Remember, if the numerator and denominator are the same, it equals 1. So we pull an 8 eighths out of this and have 1 eighth left over, and we give that 1 to the 3, and now we have 4 and 1 eighth. Sometimes when we're multiplying fraction, uh, when we're adding fractions, it's hard to find the common product. We keep listing them and listing them, and we don't get to one until we realize that they multiply to each other. And that's what happens in this case with the 7 and 9. Now you have to be careful about jumping to do this too quickly because you could end up with a big, huge denominator for no reason, and it may not be the lowest. It'll give you a lot of work at the end trying to reduce it to its lowest terms. 
So 7 gets multiplied by 9, the numerator is jealous and gets multiplied by 9 also. 9 gets multiplied by 7, the numerator gets multiplied by 7 also. We add the numerators and get 23 60 thirds. We add the whole numbers and we have 5 and 23 60 thirds. Okay? To subtract mixed numbers, we may have to find their lowest common denominator, subtract, and then reduce the fraction's difference to its lowest terms. For 3 and 4 ninths, we can't subtract 1 and 5 eighteenths from it because the denominators are different. We list their common products. We see they can meet at 18. That's the lowest. There is a 36, but it's not the lowest. So 9 is going to go to 18's house. 18 is just going to slide on over. And 9 is multiplied by 2. The 4 gets jealous. He gets multiplied by 2. And we end up with 3 and 8 eighteenths minus 1 and 5 eighteenths. Now we can subtract. The 8 take away the 5 is 3. 3 take away 1 is 2. But we can see that the 3 18 can still be made smaller. So we divide the 3, we divide by 3 to find the lower terms with the greatest common factor. So the factors are the facts that we multiply together to get the 3 and the 18. What do you multiply together to get a 3? A 1 and a 3. What do you multiply together to get an 18? a 1 and an 18, a 2 and a 9, and a 3 and a 6. So what's the biggest one they have in common? Well, because 3 only has 1 and 3, we know we can't use 1. It's not the biggest. We use the 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 18 divided by 3 is 6, and we end up with 2 and 1, 6. See? No big deal. So, that is adding and subtracting mixed numbers. In our next video, we're going to talk about what happens when the fraction, the minuend, that's the one we're subtracting from is still not big enough and we have to borrow from the whole number. Okay? We'll talk about that next.